Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to focus our attention on phase changes. When we talk about phase changes, first thing that should come to mind is something going from a solid to a liquid to a gas, and then again going from a gas back down to a liquid to a solid. A lot of substances on Earth will have all three types of phases. Some substances on Earth actually skip phases. Okay, for the most part, what we're going to focus on today is going to be the phase changes of water. And when we talk about phase changes, the big thing about this is applying heat energy. Okay, usually when you apply heat energy, you're going to raise the temperature of that specific substance. Okay, so when you raise the temperature of a substance, usually you'll go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. If you decrease the amount of heat energy, you're going to cool it down. You're going to go from a gas back down to a liquid, back to a solid again. But water, in this sense, is very, very unique. Okay, even though water goes from a solid liquid to a gas, and then from gas back down to a liquid, back to a solid, there's a fancy form of heat energy called latent heat. Water is actually quite smart here in the sense that this hidden heat, it's a form of potential energy that's found in water. Water can only do one thing at a time. It knows when to apply heat energy to change its temperature, and it also knows when to apply its heat energy to change its phase. So when you look at water and you go through the whole phase changes with the water, you'll notice that water can only do one thing at a time, either change its temperature or change its phase. It can't do two things at once. Now our unit of heat here that we're going to be talking with is what we call a joule. And that's going to be the unit of heat energy that we're going to be applying here in regards to the four basic phase changes of water. Now, the first type of phase change is what we call melting. And all this information is going to be found within your reference table. Okay, this information that we're giving you to you is going to be found on page one. So when we talk about melting, you're taking a solid, changing it to a liquid. This is going to be a latent heat gain, just means that energy from the atmosphere is going to be taken in. And the amount of heat energy required is an additional 334 joules per gram. So the latent heat energy here is going to be taken in in the form of heat energy called a joule, 334 joules per gram. Then we go to freezing. This is going to be a liquid to a solid. This is a latent heat loss, and it's going to be giving off. 334 joules per gram back out into the atmosphere to go from a liquid back down to a solid. Evaporation or vaporization. This is going to be a liquid to gas. So you can take liquid water, change it into water vapor. It's going to be a latent heat gain here. An additional 2,260 joules per gram is going to be required to change liquid water into a gas vapor. And then finally, condensation. This is going to be gas to liquid. You're cooling your gas down to change it back into a liquid. This is going to be a latent heat loss at an additional 2,260 joules per gram. Again, a lot of this information is going to be found on page one in your reference table. Now, when you take a look at the heating and cooling curve of water here, you'll notice that you have some sections that are slanted, and those slanted sections represent a temperature change. And the temperature change, like I said, water can only do one thing at a time either change the temperature or change its phase. And in this case, you'll notice that you have a temperature increase. You can also have these plateaus or these horizontal regions. Those are your phase changes, whether it's freezing or melting or condensation and evaporation. So realize that water can do a couple things in terms of the different phase changes, but realize it can only do one thing at a time. So that's it for now with phase changes. Good luck on your exam.